The pageant world is one filled with glam, glitz, and fitness. But there's also a darker and twisted side of pageantry. Katie Boyd competed in the Miss America system, and she knows all too well about the physical and emotional pressures of competing. And she uses her painful past to prevent current pageant competitors from following the same route as she did. Uh, I think when I turned 17, you know, I was at that age where, you know, you're a teenager still, you're not really hard, meaning like your body, and you're competing against girls that are in their like late to mid to late 20s, and their bodies are more developed. So I remember um, a woman at Miss Mass America had said to me, you know, you have the looks and you have the talent and you're so smart and you're articulate, but you really have to work on your fitness. And I was like, I look good, you know? I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about. Between the bed and the wall, um, brain dead, completely brain dead, but body was still going. Oh, um, you're alive, Tim. You've been alive for two years. And that really st started me it started, I started obsessing about my body and my weight, and I did everything from, you know, starvation diets to, like, the cabbage soup diet to Atkins to just drinking protein shakes to doing growth hormone and, you know, fat, burner, fat burners. And, I mean, at the end, I just, I think it got to the point where it was, like, either me or the pageants. That's how bad it got. Um, at my worst, and I'm 5'10", I would have to say my lowest weight was 117. And I was 7% body fat. Yeah, so usually around 12, you stop having your period altogether. So I didn't have my period for six years. Use my house. Should I do it? Use my house. Can you use my house? <laughs> you make so oh my god. Yeah. Yes. Sorry. So that's what I'm saying, like when people are like, oh, it's just dieting, it's not. And that's the reality of it. You know, everybody watches pageant, sh things about pageants, and it's like, you know, the Ramsey stuff, and you know, pageant girls gone wild, and pageant girls gone bad, and all this stuff, and the truth is, it's like, it's just like anything else, it's just like modeling, or, you know, uh, professional baseball players that, you know, do steroids. It's all of the same stuff, but because pageantry is about looks, it gets such a bad, you know, a bad connotation, and, and at the end of the day, it's just like everything else. Uh, I watched Charles and Tiaras once in my entire life, and I was so disgusted and embarrassed by it, it like turned me off and I like never watched it again. Actually, everybody always asks me that question. If I was to have daughters, would I put them in pageants? And I would actually get them to the age where they chose it themselves. So I have to say that my advice to my future children about their body image and self-esteem is definitely to do the opposite of everything their mother did growing up. Really work on yourself as, as a human. You know, be kind to people, um, help people when they need help, and you know, if they're, don't rely on your looks to get you places. Rely on the way that you treat people, how people feel about you, and your education. So, and don't puke. <laughs> no, just kidding. It's estimated that about 24 million Americans suffer from eating disorders. And those disorders have the highest mortality rate of any mental illness. I'm Sola Okenla, Boston Chatta.